today we will do an example project for the free RTOS, so free real-time operating system and uh, we will use uh, the RX LED and uh, the 13 LED for demonstration purposes mm. and uh, we will do two configurations uh, in the first one we will blink the LEDs independently with uh, two independent tasks and in the second configuration we will do something like this so uh, the both of the LEDs will be controlled uh, by the first task and the second one so the first task will set the LEDs and the second task will uh, make the LEDs go clear so let's go and uh, start with the project okay so the best way to start is to select new example project and uh, in here we will select a basic uh, free artos uh, template but first let's select the device we are going to use so uh, sam 3x and from the drop down list let's select uh, Free Artos basic example. It's for a different board, but it will work fine here after some modifications. So let's create the project, agree to the licenses. Okay, so now we got it generated. Let's open up the main. And at the top we see definitions for the stack sizes and priorities for the task. And going down we see the function uh, for a UART print for a task and LED blink for a task. But uh, in this example, we don't want to use the UART. So let's comment it out. And let's comment out the task creation for the task monitor, which we don't want to use. But instead, we will use uh, two tasks for LED. So let's get here and uh, let's just comment out this section and let's uh, take a look what we have to do to make the LED being controlled so drivers PIO and the .h file and at the bottom we can see an example of usage so let's first of all set outputs to those pins. So let's copy this and let's create a function for configuration. something like this and now to the pins that are going to be used so let's take a look what we got here so the PB27 is the built-in LED uh, and it's the T13 and the second one is the Eric's LED and this is the PC30 Okay, so as we got this knowledge, let's type this one here. So the B27 and PC30. Okay, fine. Now let's copy this into our main. 
so the pins are configured now on to the tasks so let's take a look how to set and clear so let's copy this function right here and first of all the pb okay and let's copy this again so we will also make it clear here okay so this are this is our first task so let's copy this task right here and let's name it two and now we will use the error rx led which is the pc30 Okay, like so. And now we have to create the second task. So simply we can just copy this, this task creation right here. The name of the function, which the task will be located in. And the name also too. Okay, so now we can just save and build. Okay, so the project builded. Few warnings, but nothing too scary. So we can try now to um, flash this program to the board. So now let's open up the Pulsa. Okay, so first of all, reset the board with the bootloader. Okay, so now let's flash it. Okay, so refresh the port and now let's select the project. which is this one. Debug and the binary. Erase all, boot to flash, and now let's write it. Okay, now let's take a look at the port. Okay, so now let's click reset. And the LEDs are blinking. Uh, like one is uh, on and the second one, second one is off. And they are blinking independently uh, and they are driven with those two tasks. So now let's do something else. And now let's uh, use uh, one task to uh, make those two LEDs on and the second task to make them off. So for this case, we have to use uh, mutexes. So uh, if one task is uh, using a peripheral, the second one cannot do this. So let's uh, go ahead and implement to the code. Okay, so going back to the project, I got some code snippets right here. So first of all, we have to add the mutexes. So let's place them at the top of the file. Something like so. And uh, those two semaphore handles will be the mutexes for the uh, PIOB Pi and PIOC. So they are here. We also have to add a function to make them created. 
so that we use uh, semaphores as a mutexes and we can do this like so okay and don't forget to add this function to our main just like so and now let's uh, go ahead and uh, modify those two tasks I already did so and uh, I will copy this right here and it looks like so uh, before we do any interaction with the uh, peripheral uh, we take the semaphore I mean the mutex uh, for the maximum amount of time that is available so just like forever because uh, after one second we will release it right here and the second task looks exactly so with the difference of uh, the pins being cleared so it works like so if I'm right here I take the semaphore if it's uh, available I set the uh, built-in pin I mean built-in LED and I wait one second after this I give uh, the I release the mutex so if the mutex is uh, taken I cannot do this part of the code in the second task but as soon as I release here uh, the code right here can be executed so this is the part for the uh, deferred in LED and this is the part for the RX LED so switching it on right here and switching it off right here okay so now let's save it and build it again the project build it so now let's uh, go ahead and uh, first of all reset the board select it in Bosa. the path is correct and now let's write it so let's reset the board and now both of the LEDs are blinking at the same time and they are controlled by two different tasks so keep in mind that the FreeRTOS also uses a little bit more of uh, the RAM memory which the Arduino Duo doesn't really have so you have to use it uh, wisely so thanks for watching see you in the next one